How's it going? Last week we went over for loops and we used the in operator a little bit. So this week we're going to be going a little bit more over the in operator and we're going to be getting into the, the len function, which is the link. And I'll show you about it in a sec. So first let's go ahead and get a variable and prompt the user to enter a string into it. And we're going to be doing some work on this string. So here's the length function. As you can see, you type in the string here and then use the length function inside of parentheses and then you type the variable inside of it. And that's going to print out the length of whatever string the user types in. So secondly, let's put a prompt, well not a prompt, but let's go ahead and print out this because it's going to tie in with what we're going to do next. So here we go, we're going to use the inf, the if statement and the n operator in conjunction to find out if John is in the variable the string. And if it is, then we want to print out in the string. And it's going to tie in with this and it's going to say the word John is in the string. And then secondly, or thirdly, whatever, I've done lost count now, we're going to put a catch-all on there in case that it's not in the string. So of course else catches everything that the if statement doesn't catch, if you remember from the earlier tutorials. And if it's not in there, that's going to print out not in the string. And now let's go ahead and put our closer here. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this and see what it does. So enter a string. Alright, let's see here. Let me see if I can think of a cool name off the top of my head. John Hughes, that's a pretty cool name. Let's see. The string's length is 11 because, see we got the length function here operating on the variable the string. So it finds the length of the string here that the user inputs into it. So the length is 11 characters because it counts the spaces as a character also. And the word John is in the string. See that's what I was talking about how it'll tie in there. So let's go ahead and close this. Come back over here press F5 again to run it and save it and pick something else. Um, I don't know. The length is still 11, but the word is John's not in it. So, of course, it's not a very cool name. Not near as cool as the, as the first one. So, there you have it. Uh, I just want to show you all a little bit more on the end how this means that it's looking in this variable here. So, mostly use that with the if statement and you can find out different things you don't just have to iterate through something you can look for stuff inside of your variable so go ahead and end the tutorial there guys the next tutorial is going to be over indexing and you're going to find out a little bit more about why I do this right here so I look forward to next week's tutorial I hope you guys do too I'll see you then.